hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we continue with our tutorial on uh introduction to database with mysql so this in this tutorial we're going to be looking at what we call subqueries what's basically a subquery so a subquery is basically a query within another query that's basically what a subquery is so you can think of it like it's a sub of another query that's what it's called a subquery so uh, in a query within another query that's basically what a subquery is it's, it's a it's a it's a query whose output is used by another query to uh, create a database so we have, basically we have two queries whereby one query uses another query's output to create a database so we have these are called the inner uh, the inner queries and also the outer queries so the inner queries uh is executed at first but when you start executing the whole query and then the outer query is, secu is uh, executed after that the inner query is executed uh, is executed only once uh let's say uh, let's, so let's take a look at how, how these query, uh, queries can work okay so I have it. I have just gone to MySQL. I logged in uh, my MySQL Workbench. Basically, I logged in and everything is activated. So you can see right now I have a query here that pulls the records, the records from the year 2003. So pulling the records whose uh, whose year is greater than the last year of 2002 and whose uh, date is less less than the first year of 2004. Basically, meaning that the the year 2003. So if I run this query, it should return to us all the orders that were made in the year 2003. So if I go here, you can see if you keep an eye on the ship date column. You can see all these are from the year 2003 like the order date column you can see all these are from the year 2003 good so i'm able to pull the data and uh, get information from the year 2003 good so once we have this information done once we have this done that's basically uh, how can you convert this query into a subquery because basically what you're simply doing is selecting everything from the orders table and then finally we are applying this where uh, where uh, condition on it or where close on it so how can you write this with uh, using uh, using a subquery okay so the first thing you're going to be pulling everything from the orders table so can you pull can you put uh, this information by pulling all the records from the orders table into a subquery so let's go ahead and uh, try to do that so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to say select and i'm going to, I'm going to say select uh this is going to be select uh, all so we're going to select everything so select all uh select all this is going to be coming from uh, a table right and this table we're going to write this table as a subquery and basically it's going to select everything from the orders table so let's put that logic into a subquery i'm going to say select Okay, I'm going to say select and I'm going to say yeah, everything uh, from the orders table. Orders table basically. We're selecting everything from the orders table and that's basically our subquery. You can see we're selecting everything from this table right here because this is going to also return to us all the records from the all the records from the from the orders table and you're selecting everything from that uh, output. That's why I say this is called an inner query and the outer query relies on the inner query. So the inner query is, a, is a executed first and then finally the outer query. So if you run this query, uh, let's see what we get back. So if I go ahead and run the query, you can see we got back an error right here. So uh, table must have, okay. So you can give it a name if you want. So let me just undo that. So let me just undo that. And let's, we, give, we need to give this a name. So you can say, call it, uh, let's say SQL underscore, uh, let's say uh, like SQL, SQ starts for, uh, subquery and then you can say subquery table just like that so uh, and that over there and i can go ahead and simply run this again so if you run this you can see now we have the results right there so it's selected everything with using a subquery so we're selecting everything from the output of this inner query and that's basically what the subquery so this the code that i just highlighted is a subquery of this whole query right it's a subquery of the whole query this right here it's a subquery good so once we have this selected now you can go ahead and apply the where condition on it so it's just go ahead and copy this and then simply paste it right here so that's basically it like it's going to go ahead and remove this right so it's going to select everything from the result of this subquery and the result of this subquery is all the records from the orders table and then you're, you're applying now the outer the outer query is going to apply the where condition whereby it missed the specific in, uh, date right so if i go ahead and simply select that and simply execute that you can see now we get back the information and this is going to be only from the year 2003 so you can see that's how subqueries work so sometimes you need to write subqueries because you might be working with different tables and you uh, have different logic uh, but but yeah that's basically how, uh, how subqueries work in uh, on a surface on a, like a basic surface level right so that's basically a subquery so this right here is a subquery of the whole query set that we have here so let me just zoom out a bit okay so yeah that's basically it so this right here uh, is a subquery of the whole query that we have right here uh, so that's basically how it works so good so once we have that done let's take a look at a bit of assignment so we're going to generate an uh, 2003 order report basically we're going to have a, a table that has the product uh product code the order date uh, the, the quantity ordered the price each the order date and then finally you have the total cost okay so we're going to use uh subquery to generate this so let's go ahead and first, first of all select the, the, the all the columns that we need from the details table okay 
if you're not if you're confused anything you can, you can just go ahead and look at those tables and pull out the information and decide which tables are going to be using but i can tell you're going to be using the order table and the order detail table okay so let's go ahead and sele actually select all the things that we need from the order de order detail table. again you can just go ahead and uh, uh, examine this examine this so you can just go to uh let's say order detail and you can just press on this and you can look at the different columns that this has so we, we want the product code okay you can see right the product code the quantity ordered so you saw here and the price each is also there so we're going to pull all these three columns from this query from this uh order table so let's go ahead and just actually write that so uh this, this is going to be let's say practical mm, let me just call it the comment here practicals okay so uh once i have this done let me just keep it right here and then we make this full the whole screen good so once i have this there good uh we are good to go I have to put it down here okay so let's write the query right here and what i have i'm going to uh, simply write in here uh, this is a bit off for me so let me just delete this and let me just say practical practicals okay and what we're going to go ahead and do i mean select select uh, i'm going to select two columns which is going to be the actually three columns with so the product uh the product product code uh, I'm going to also select the quantity or let me just go ahead and select everything first and then you select the columns that we need to select everything uh from the order detail so order order uh detail order details table right so we're going to select everything from the order details table and then simply go ahead and run this query so if i run this query we get all the results from the order details table okay so once i have this done uh i'm going to go ahead and select the columns that i need and i need the, the following columns i need the you can bring this up here again i need the the product code so i can just go and say product uh product code I'm getting this information from your product code you also need the quantity ordered so comma and this going to be quantity ordered just like that and you're also going to go ahead and need the the price of each so price each just like that so once i have this done i'm going to select the whole query and then run it again now you get back those specific three columns right which form the three columns of our final table that you're going to generate good so once we have this done uh, what i want to go ahead and do is uh, try to calculate the total cost the total cost uh, the total cost will be the quantity ordered multiplied by the price of each right so i can just go ahead and do this calculated column and if you're not about calculated columns you already uh, covered calculated column so i'm just going to take the order date uh you can check that video in the previous uh, tut uh tutorial section that we had on this series so i'm just going to copy this uh copy that and go in here and simply paste it here close that off you're going to give it a name you're going to you're going to say as uh total underscore uh cost just like that so if i run this this returns me the total cost of the table so if i run this now you can see we have the total cost right which is going to be the product of this and these two columns so good we are generating the total cost which is another table another column from our final table okay so we have the total cost generated good so once we have that done uh, what i'm going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and try to order it by something so we're going to go ahead and order it by uh, we're going to select only the ones that come from the year 2020 to 2003 right because you're uh, interested in the records from the year 2003 because the 2003 order uh reports right so we're going to select all the all the ones from 2003 we're going to say where uh order number right order number is another table from here i think it's another column yeah uh, let me see order yeah order number right we're saying order number in the year 2003 so we're going to select all the all, all the orders that are placed place in the year 2003 so this is where we need to go ahead and query the orders table right the order the order basically we're going to go ahead and query the orders table because the orders table has, has a day in which the order was placed right so if i go ahead and open the orders table you can see you can uh, just scroll this up here we can find for the order date so looking for that order date okay if you look here we don't i don't think we have order date we don't have order date here so we have to go and get order date from the order order orders table okay so i'm going to go back in here and then write and now i'm going to use a sub query right so you can uh, probably pick up the syntax by now so we're going to use an order uh, and a sub query right here so i'm going to just, uh, cl close off this and then in here sorry uh in here i'm going to go ahead and write write that query so i'm going to go ahead and say select i'm going to say select uh so i'm going to go ahead and select the order number so i'm going to say order uh order number right i'm going to select order number and i'm going to, this is going to be from the orders table so i'm going to say uh from uh sorry yeah from the orders table from the orders table and that's basically it so from here you can go ahead and apply the query to select only the orders uh, that are coming from 2003 right so i'm going to say uh where uh, let me get the spelling right so where are you going to say the the order date so the order date and order dates another column that is in the orders table the order date right here okay so you're going to say where the order date the order date uh is greater than the last year of the last day of 2002 right so that's going to be 12 
of 31st right 31st night of 2022 right and uh, it's less than the first date of uh, the first day of 2024 and so instead we can say end uh, order date is less than um the last the first day of 2024 so 0101 so great so that's going to select us all the records from 2020 uh, from 2003 and that's what this this query is going to return to us so you can even copy this query and run it outside if you want so you can just select this query and let me just select the query right here and let me try to run it from here uh yeah so you can see uh, we get only the queries from 2000 no let me just go ahead and copy this and just paste it right here and let me select execute this query so i'm just going to highlight it and then execute this query so you can see we have all the records uh sometimes it's trying to us all the details um it's not returning to us the records we want so i don't know why let me just try to fix that indentation and the semicolon and then try to run this specific query yeah so now you can see we get back only the order number because we're only selecting the order number from here so this is the same query that we have here so it's the same, we are basically saying select everything from the order details table where the order number is in is 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 is, is part of the output of this subquery that's basically what you're saying and this is the subquery that we have right which near generates this information so selecting where the order number is part of this output okay so that's going to return to us the products of uh, the, the the product details from 2000 the order details from 2003 so if i scroll up you can see all these are from 2003 and you can actually just also output the order date if you want so let's just say uh, order Mm, date just like that and if i execute the query again so highlight all the query and then execute again now we should also get uh, get back an error unknown column order date okay let me see uh okay this that doesn't have the date so basically we can't have the date uh, column right here okay we have to actually perform a join before we can do that okay so let's go ahead and really perform a join so that in order to get the date information uh the order date information that we, we are interested in so we have the information ready. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just uh, let's first give this uh, an alias. So it's going to say uh, we can say us, and I'm going to say uh, this is going to be ORD order detail, yeah order detail. And I'm going to go ahead and simply join with some information. So I'm going to go ahead and join with it another table. So I'm going to say join, join with the orders table. So orders just like this, and I'm going to say orders as ORD basically that's what we're going to do and what on, on what columns you want to join on we're going to join them on the order table so you can go ahead and say using uh using and you can go ahead and say using the order number okay that's basically it so once we have that done we will need to go ahead and change this right here so this is going to be our uh, order did order did details okay and it's also going to be from the order details table so select this and we paste it right here order detail also this is going to be from the order details and this is going to be uh, order detail and here we will send the order detail and uh, yeah that's basically it so now if you run this query you should get back all the information that you want so if i run the query now we get back the information that we want perfectly now the reason why we join is because we want to pull out the order date right so you can go ahead and actually pull out the order date so you can go ahead, uh, uh, up here and just simply say or order dot uh, order date just like that so once we have this done we can go ahead and execute the query again uh, execute the query now it should also return to us the date inclusive so you can also have the date and you can see all these are from 2003 so all these reports is generated from the year 2003 okay so yeah you can scroll down and just check and make sure everything is from 2003 and you can see all the years that uh, they are 2003 so that's basically how you can generate all that uh, all that information from 2000 the year 2003 using uh, sub queries so that's basically so i've answered this question right here using a sub query so that's basically how we can generate that information again you can order the the columns that you want so your product uh in the, you can order the column of the of the query output in this specific format so run the uh, the product code uh the quantity order and the price for each and then the order date so let's go sorry uh, let me just go right here and let's check that information so uh we have this uh this is gonna be the let me just move this up so i'm just gonna uh, delete this from here so cut it out and then paste it here comma uh yeah i think that's basically it so now if you run the query uh let me see if okay I, i'm learning this right there so once i go ahead and select all this query and then execute so now you can see we have that information generated right here so yeah so you can see the date and then finally the total price of each of those orders uh yeah so that's basically how we can generate that information uh, as we wanted so yeah 
So yeah, so that's basically how to write a subquery and you have covered uh, how to write a subquery. So in the next topic, we're going to be looking at correlated queries, which is also some important topic when you're working with uh, databases. You have to really understand what is a correlated query. And this will be covering in the next video. So uh, stay, stay tuned. And if you're new to the channel, please kindly consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, liking the videos and sharing this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Again, um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you. In this, for this video, we don't really have any assignments. I'll actually give you an assignment later on, but for now, just practice, practice, and understand how subqueries work. Later on, I'll give you an assignment with its its solution. Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching. Again, uh, you can subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment. Let us know what you think about the video. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Keep safe.